Pipe fans all over the world, it's Daddy P with Slap Pappy Gorilla. What? Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, this whole thing, man, look, this thing ain't over with, bro. This thing is not over with, and, you know, we all knew it was going to be far from over with, but um, I don't know if we, we thought this was going to happen. Devin Haney is suing Ryan Garcia. He's also allegedly suing... um. Golden Boy and Oscar De La Hoya. So it's a big thing now. And, you know, a lot of people weighing in with their opinions on it. Um, some on the side of Devin Haney as far as supporting his decision to sue. And then others saying that, hey, man, you look like a clown trying to sue for uh, battery. It's more than just battery he's suing for. But, um, you know, it's business. So now. This is the thing. Um, and I, I ain't nobody. My opinion really doesn't matter probably to a lot of people. Um, but this is the thing. Devin Haney is um, his own brand. He has built a brand. His name is a brand. These uh, sports figures that are, you know, especially when you're dealing in sports that are just it's not a team sport. It's me and as, as an individual, you know, they are building a brand. So as a brand, Devin Haney is a businessman um, that is, you're always trying to protect your brand. So if that's what he thinks he needs to do to predict his, to protect his brand, you know, hey, look, I'm not mad at him now. I'm going to tell you, I would rather see him get it back in blood in the ring. But I don't know the extent to which he has been damaged, you know, and, you know, that's something to think about as a boxing fan. We don't know. This man is walking around in his own body. He knows what happened to him that night. You know, for all we know, he could be damaged goods now uh, as far as a boxer and, it could affect his career moving forward or it could have ended his career moving forward, you know. So I'm not sure yet if he's trying to sue from that premise or not. So I guess we have to wait and see. But if Devin Haney plans on fighting ever again, and I, you know, I really think he should take some time to see how he feels. But, um, you know, as far as protecting his brand, Hey, that's his business, and I'm I'm not I'm not gonna try to clown him on that because you know boxing is not just a sport; it's a business. That's the thing to remember. We are fight fans. We are the ones that are hungry to see a fight. We want to see blood. We want to see knockouts. We want to see all of these different things. But these fighters are their own brand. They get in the ring you know, and put their lives on the line when they go in the ring. We've seen um, people die in the ring as boxing fans, and we've also seen people uh, that's taken life-altering beatings, you know. Um, so uh, just just think back to McClellan. Uh, think back to Stevenson. These different fighters who they still, you know, I think, well, I, think, I don't know if McClellan has died yet. I got to look that up. Um, but Stevenson, you know, he'll never be able to fight again. And, you know, he lost everything. You know, heart goes out to those guys. Um, but they put their lives on the line for our entertainment. So some of the stuff, you know, it's kind of it's a little bit harsh when you being hard on the guy because you don't know to what extent he's been damaged yet. You know what I'm saying? He'll know that probably in the next six months or so. Um, Y'all remember Cotto took that vicious beating from Margarito. Uh, the plaster Paris in his hands, you know, that was made, you know, from his rap hand wraps. And uh, Margarito and Cotto got back in the ring. Cotto got it back in blood, beat the brakes off him. So, I mean, that's something that we all want to see, you know, 
like as fight fans, hey man, is he going to get his get back and is he going to do this, that? Okay, that's what we want to see as fans. And I'm be honest, that's what I want to see. I want to see Devin Haney go back and do his thing. And, you know, um, I think he makes the necessary adjustments. But um, who knows what to what extent he's been damaged, you know. Um, and then, you know, you can have all these arguments as, you know, Osterine, or did it really affect Ryan Garcia to what extent it was only like this small amount? Look, I don't care. If he was cheating and he got an unfair advantage, and this is the thing, you know, people say, oh, he took it or he knew he took it or not, man, look. Yeah, I've already made videos about, you know, how I feel about it. And I'm not going to keep going over it. But at the same time, look, it was he took whatever it was, whatever reason he took it, it was in his system. And it was an unfair advantage. Um, you could say that it didn't have any effect on him. It's on the ban list. They said don't do it. He did it. Okay. Now, I don't care about any of anything like the effects of it or whatever. He took it. It's a cheat. Whatever happened that night, it happened. You know? So, being the fact, now, yeah, he paid the guy for being overweight. You know? And it seemed like he he wasn't even going to try to make the weight. That seemed kind of crazy to me. You know, that's alarm in itself. Um, but he paid for that. He paid Devin for that. Um, but being that the damage that, because that, if you look at Devin Haney's face, he was banged up pretty bad, you know. Um he was banged up pretty bad, but we don't know to what extent, you know. Not yet anyway. So, I don't care about none of the other stuff. Only thing I care about is, hey, Devin, get your get back, bro. Get your get back. Now, the lawsuit could, you know, you never know how that can affect him. And his brand if he wants to move forward as a fighter. And that's my whole thing for it. Like, if Devin Haney does plan on moving forward as a boxer, as a fighter, you know, it could tarnish his image doing this. Um, he's already on shaky legs with most of the promoters in the game. Um, and then some of them, it might make it even worse, you know, people wanting to deal with him. And then... Not even like deal with him himself, but other fighters like him dealing with the promoters through fighting the other fighters, you know, that it could affect his career. And I really hate to see that happen. But, you know, this lawsuit is a lot deeper than the surface, especially now that Oscar De La Hoya is involved, Golden Boy, um, and we had a discussion on the platform. You know, I don't know if that platform wants to be named or not, so I'm not going to name them. But, you know, I'm fond of a lot of different platforms. I go on platforms and um, listen to the conversation. Sometimes I'm a part of the conversations. Um, but it was a lot of different perspectives shared. And um, that made me think about a lot more. And this... And I don't think a lot of fight fans are thinking this through. But once you bring Oscar De La Hoya, Golden Boy, into the lawsuit, that means it is deeper than the surface. So um, them suing for uh, the battery, the fraud, uh, and uh, what is it, unjust enrichment, whatever. Um, it's... That it could be more to it than just him suing for that against Ryan Garcia. Um, and then when they're on, when you see them on social media saying, where's my money and all that stuff, this could be deeper than just suing 
Ryan Garcia. Ryan Garcia might be the selling point for getting to something that's a lot bigger. So, like, the forfeiture of his purse, Ryan Garcia, uh, you know, supposedly he forfeited his purse. It went to the promoter, which is Golden Boy. Um, was Devin Haney supposed to have access to a certain amount of that money? You know, I don't know. And being honest, I don't know. And that could be something that is uh, the reason for this litigation. You know what I'm saying? So it, it's a lot of different angles that this could come from. So I think fight fans are kind of jumping the gun to to uh, call Devin Haney this or that to say, oh, man, you should do it in the ring, which, hey, like I say, I'm all for him getting in the ring. The only reason to me this this uh and this is just my opinion that this makes sense is if Devin Haney feels as if his career as a boxer is over because I think it goes against him negatively whether he wins or loses but you know I guess we just have to wait and see how it plays out um Devin Haney gets a lot of bad you know press and you know his dad has said things like his dad has said things like hey i'm sending my son in there to kill ryan garcia and all of that you know yeah that was a bad look but i think that because his dad has a lot to do with his career he gets a lot of backlash for not only what he says and does but what his dad says and does and then it comes off kind of like okay Devin haney is a big brat you know um, and I'm not calling him that. I'm just saying how it comes off because his daddy, he's not a street kid. He was raised well. His dad was, you know, had some dealings in the street and probably had a lot of money growing up. And he probably was kind of spoiled, you know, and, and I'm just speculating. And his dad seems like he would do anything for his son, which, you know, most of, our, you know, parents who are fathers. You know, and they are in their kid's life would do, you know, anything for their their son or their kids or whatever, you know, especially um, for them to be able to to excel. You know what I'm saying? Um, in life. And he, his dad has done that for him. But it just seems like, man, you know, this is how it comes off to the public that, OK, he does not know how to handle pressure on his own and he has his dad that's that's here like handling things for him it's almost like he's not been able to come out of the shadows from his dad's shadow to be his own man um and what i fear for Devin haney because i'm fond of Devin haney i'm not like some some big fanatic Devin haney fanatic but i'm fond of the kid man and i'm you know, all of these young African-American fighters that are trying to do something for themselves. I, I don't. That's why I said people tell me, you know, think that if you're a Terrence Crawford fan, you're a hater of Errol Spence. I don't hate any of these young guys who are doing well for themselves. The fact is, these guys are young African-American millionaires. Um, and, you know, that's something to be proud about, you know, being an African American, you 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 root for, it. and it's not saying being racist. You know what I'm saying? It's just being proud of something that these guys have accomplished. They have given themselves over to a craft, and this craft is paying them this money. You know what I'm saying? That's something to be proud of. As you know, to be hey, people, young guys that are uh, their age. In the streets die every day you know what i'm saying you know especially in these big cities man even in the smaller cities now it's so dangerous and these guys lives are being wasted away but these guys are doing something that they're able to make good a good living and they're not in the streets and they're able to affect their communities differently so you know i'm proud of these guys i don't hate any of these guys but for Devin Haney, I really 
my concern is that if he wants to move forward as a boxer, this might be a big tarnish on his career. Um, however, if not, if he feels like his career is over, this might be the move to make, you know. But however it seems, man, y'all tell me what y'all think about it in the comments section. Um, and look, I'll make a video about this totally and separately. A lot of people talk about what Tank has done. Hey, I, I, I'm a, oh, hey, look, I'm a fan of Tank as well. I like Tank. I'm very fond of Tank. Um, but I think the the thing with Tank is why he kind of kicking Devin while he's down is because when he was going through his thing heavy, they was kind of kicking him when he was down. Um, I'm not condoning it at all, but I'm just saying I've heard people mention it and say, oh, he's talking about Devin for no reason. He's messing with Devin for no reason. But I don't think that's true. It's, it is a reason. The reason is because he felt that they were kicking him when he was down, when he was going through his uh, legal issues or what have you. But anyway, that's a video for another time. Y'all let me know what y'all think um, about this Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia lawsuit that includes Golden Boy and Oscar De La Hoya. Y'all let me know what y'all think about it in the comment section. This Daddy P with Slap Pappy Gorilla. Like, hate, comment, subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell icon so you can be notified every time it go down. This Daddy P. I'm out of there.